Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you could get rid of a black screen in OBS. Now I put up a video a little while back which was a tutorial on how to record your computer screen using OBS. By far the most frequent issue that people run into is they set up OBS, they follow all the steps, and you just get this what I like to call the black screen of death. Today I wanna to show you how to resolve that issue. All right, well let's jump on the PC. Uh, so here I am in OBS and it's just a black screen. So let's imagine that I've added the video capture device, I added the display capture, and it's not working. Now it works on my computer, um, so I'm just kinda of simulating what would happen if it doesn't work, so I've hit these eyeballs here. Um, ideally you would want it to look something like this, where you could see your screen and you could see your webcam. Um, so how do we get this working? So don't despair, it's actually very simple to do. I'm gonna minimize OBS for a moment. We're gonna pop up my browser and on the OBS forum, they actually walk you through how to fix it. And I'm just gonna walk through these steps uh, so you can see how this works. But just keep in mind, the source of this is the OBS forum. Um, so what we wanna do is this problem uh, tends to crop up when you have a laptop and you have two graphics cards on your laptop. So you have an integrated graphics card and then you have a NVIDIA graphics card. And what happens is OBS is using the integrated graphics card, but what you're trying to record is using the NVIDIA graphics card, and so that mismatch causes the problem. And so we wanna make sure that OBS is using your NVIDIA high performance graphics card. And then once you set that, that should resolve the black screen issue. How do we do that? Well, it's actually pretty easy to do. Uh, we're gonna go down onto our taskbar in, I'm using Windows in this case, and we're gonna click on this little carrot icon, um, and then you should have something for NVIDIA settings, um, or you could also navigate to NVIDIA control panel any other way where you could get there. So whether it's through your app menu, whether it's through Windows search, there are other ways you could get there. Um, but so here's my NVIDIA control panel, and what we wanna do is on the left-hand side, you'll see this uh, section called select a task. What we wanna select is manage 3D settings. And once you click on manage 3D settings, uh, you'll end up in this view here with global settings and program settings. We're gonna go click on uh, program settings. And once I click on program settings, it should pull up all my different programs that I have. And you're gonna wanna click on this little list here and select the program you wanna customize. Uh, in this case, it's, uh, it's the Open Broadcaster Software, um, OBS64. If you don't see it on the list, don't despair. You could also get to it by clicking on Add, uh, and then you could either navigate, it, uh, navigate to OBS on your system, um, or you could click on Browse and you could find where OBS is on your system. Um, so in this case, you'd be able to scroll through and eventually you'd find it on this very long list of apps and you could also sort alphabetically just to make it a little easier on yourself. Um, so once you're within this view, uh, I'm gonna pull up what you're gonna need to do. Um, so within this view, there should be a second option, especially if you have a laptop with two graphics cards and you're gonna click on uh, the number two, the preferred graphics processor for this program and yours, is, your, uh, yours likely says integrated graphics card. You're gonna to wanna to click on that drop down and then select high performance NVIDIA processor. Uh, and then once you're good with that, uh, close this out. And then if you go back to OBS, uh, you should see the screen, uh, you should see the OBS experience work as you expected, where you can see your desktop, you can see um, any other uh, content on there, any other sources that you've added. Um, but that's how you get around the black screen of death in OBS. You simply have to go to your uh, NVIDIA control panel and make sure that you set um, OBS to use your high performance graphics card, and that should resolve the issue. Um, if this did resolve your issue and you're able to use OBS now, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see future videos like this, uh, please hit that subscribe button. And if you're running into any other issues, if this didn't resolve your issue, uh, leave a comment down below and I'll take a look and I'll add it to my list of videos to create in the future. Anyway, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye.